welcome to Plum Pit Racing. Today, I just wanted to take a quick second, make a short video and introduce my cars and then talk about my plan for this channel as a whole. Um, I'm currently in Olive, which is my daily driver. She's a 1986 Volvo 740 GLE. Um, I bought her from her second owner about two years ago. And from what I was told, I'm not sure the exact story, but the car was stored in a barn for about 13 years before it was inherited by the owner's son after he passed and then driven about a month before it was sold to me and very like rarely driven. But I bought it for $2,500. It has 80,000 miles. I bought it at around 70,000. Um, I spent a good bit of time getting it running and driving reliably. There was a rat's nest in the airbox, so uh, it definitely needed a lot of work. There was some wiring that needed cleaned up, but we got it running and driving. She's great now. Um, but yeah, I'd love to do like a, um, a VIP build for this car, lower it, get some bigger wheels. It's on uh, the stock 14s right now. And they're just a little bit small. The wheel gap is huge. Um, but yeah, I love this car. I mean, it's my daily. I take it everywhere. Um, I don't want to mess with it too much, which is why I bought my project car, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, later down the line, I'd love to uh, give it the care it deserves. Um, as for my track car, I bought it at the beginning of 2024. Um, it's a dedicated track car. Her name is Plum the name of, you know, this channel. She's my dedicated track car, which is a 1990 Volvo 740 turbo intercooler. I bought it for $1,000. It, I bought it running, but not driving. Um, it had some power draw issues, um, just some things here and there that weren't allowing it to run smoothly. The guy I bought it from was super nice, um, gave me a great deal, obviously. It was in New York, and I live in Ohio, so it was about a nine-hour drive there, and then we trailered it nine hours back. But I get to see New York for a bit, which is cool. Um, but yeah, as for the plan for this channel and this car, um, back in the 80s, Volvo released the 760, and it was assumed that this would be their re-entry into touring car racing, Group A, etc., um, private companies had been running 240 turbos or 242s for a while now with relative success and Volvo was finally going to put a, um, a factory team into competition. Um, of course they wanted to use their flagship model, the 760, but in testing the developers of the car actually ended up deciding that the 240 was better. Um, it had better weight distribution, it was a bit smaller. Just all around, they just decided to work on that rather than the 760. They obviously both had their um, advantages and disadvantages. The 760 was a little bit wider, so you could run wider tires, more grip, obviously. Um, it produced a little bit more power, but then the 242, the turbo spooled a little bit, a little, woo, a little bit faster. Um, there's some great articles that I did a lot of research on. Um, I'll link those in the description of this video. But yeah, the 760 was abandoned by Volvo and the 242 was entered in Group A racing. Uh, it did pretty well. But the 760 obviously holds a very special place in my heart. I drive two 740s. Um, despite... Uh, Volvo giving up on the 760, a private company named K uh, VTR reached out to Volvo and asked if they would support them in homologating it, um, doing a bit more aero, a, bi a bigger engine, more tuning, and Volvo wasn't interested. Um, KT4 did uh, develop and homologate the 760 themselves. They entered it in Belgian touring car racing, and it did pretty well. There is unfortunately no footage that I can show you of this. There are some pictures that I'll toss up now. But essentially, my goal is to make the car that Volvo gave up on. Um, I love this car, despite it's a solid rear axle. 
which makes it great for drifting, which is why you see so many drift builds. But I'm really interested in circuit racing, so I'm going to be trying to build this car for that. Um, yeah, I've stripped out the interior on my 740 Turbo. Um, I just installed some bucket seats. Definitely has a lot to do still, but it's going to be a seat time car, so... It's going to stay mostly stock for a little while, and then over time I'll build it up as I progress as a racer. Um, I'll be going to local tracks, but... I am currently a college student, so funding is pretty much non-existent. Um, I'm working a job on campus and at home, so... I'm doing everything I can, but I don't make much, as it is right now, and I have a lot of things to pay for. So I'm currently looking for sponsors, but I'm still very small, so it's a work in progress, but I am looking for support for my community. If you are interested, uh, if you donate $5 to my GoFundMe, you, I will personally write your name on the interior of my car and it will stay there for at least a year so you'll be able to take like rides with me you'll be able to see it in the videos if you want like your like logo your like name or your company uh reach out to me we can always work something out um but yeah any support is greatly appreciated obviously i don't expect anyone to donate but if you do that would be amazing. If you know anyone who's looking for sponsorships or advertising, please reach out. I will also link my email in the description. But yeah, I mean, leave a like or comment. Tell me what you want to see. I can do pretty much anything, but it's going to take some time. I am living three hours away from my car right now. But yeah. I hope to see you soon. I hope you subscribe uh, and come with me for this build, I guess. Yeah, later. Stay safe.